Before you start this video, there's one thing you should know about me. I graduated high school at age 14 and then college at age 18. That is not to flex or anything. I'm saying that so you get a little bit of an idea about me and why I keep talking about the idea of me having to be exceptional because my circumstances are already exceptional. So yeah, in this excerpt of the episode, which you can listen to the full thing on Spotify, Google, Apple Podcasts, I talk about why I feel burned out. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, the idea of being a former gifted child. I don't know if you've ever, like, heard of the term, like, gifted child syndrome kind of thing. Have you ever heard that? I think I have heard of it. I think I've, a long time ago, I've watched a video on it hmm. by Tiffany Ferguson. I think that's her name. Is okay, I think I know who you mean. Yep. Yeah, I think she did a video on that. But, yeah, so, like, I... I hate like thinking that I experienced that because first of all, like this is my thing. Am I a former gifted child or just like a present failure? <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's a concern. Um, but it's also like, I don't know like if I'm just like using that as an excuse to be like, oh, you know, I've like fallen off, you know, I've kind of like burned out or like, I've kind of just like um, washed up now but like I didn't even achieve that much as a kid you know like it wasn't even like that crazy it's not like I was like some kind of like child movie star and then like now I'm like into drugs and stuff <laughs> but <laughs> but like it was just I don't know like I think I'm I don't want to use that as like an excuse to explain like why I'm like more lazy and unproductive and just like unmotivated now that could just be me as I am not like a result of anything else you know Really? I just blame COVID for that. <laughs> That's fair. I don't even know, oh, man. I feel like everybody feels that way. I, I come to my... I'm at, I'm at my aunt's house now, and I like I talk to them about um, the recent lockdown that we had that lasted for months. And mm -hmm. they were just... They were like, oh, it was hard. It was really hard on them. And it was also really, really hard on me. So I can, I can kind of understand that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And no, I don't think you're a washed <laughs> drug addict. <laughs> uh, well, I'll read this quote. I don't even know where this is from. It's literally from a high school, I think. Um, like a high school magazine newspaper thing. But I'll just read whatever this author said. Let me read the author's byline. Hold on, I need to give her some credit. Kirthi Lakshmanan. She said, The term gifted child syndrome is essentially this. It is every child who was raised with constant praise and higher achieving than others when they were young. It is every child who grew up, found themselves among other high achieving students and failed to adapt. It is the idea that you have never had to work for anything in the past. So at last, when you need to, you don't know how, but you can get rid of the overwhelming pressure to be exceptional, which is kind of like my thing. And then she also goes on to say like, today I'm struggling to discover like a work ethic. Like if I can't master a new subject immediately, I want to drop it. Which I think is true for a lot of people, not just like people who are gifted as children. But <clears throat> I think for me, it's also like, because I, I don't know, like I always thought that I would do like something really, really good with my life. And it's not mm -hmm. to say that I won't or I am not. But, <clears throat> you know, like the whole idea of like needing to, I don't know, flourish within the system and stuff like that is kind of just like so mind-boggling to me now where it's like you're like not everyone's gonna be able to like be a star like you need normal people in the world and like it's fine if i'm just like a normal person you know mm -hmm. yeah i mean do you like the, whoever whatever the, the quote is was just now like do you feel that way for yourself do you feel like any of the the gifted child syndrome like like, do you relate to most of it? I feel a little bit of it. I don't think, like, I I feel the part of, like, being a kid, like, people putting, like, expectations on me a little mm -hmm. bit. Not so much, because I don't think, like, that many people were like, oh, you're going to go and become, like, you know, a super bright genius person. But, like, I do feel like I was supposed to, because, okay, for context, like, early on, I did, like, 
Wattpads and it got a million reads. And I was mm. like, okay, so that's my calling, right? Like, I'm supposed to do something with that. But, like, mm. actually, like, I have not been able to, and I probably won't be able to replicate that kind of success because I didn't realize then, but that's just trend chasing because, like, I wrote about vampires. So it wasn't really yeah. the, the writing or even the content, content specifically. It's just, like, the trend. <laughs> and, like, the drop of, drop off of that book is actually quite high. Like, a lot of people read the first few chapters and just, like, drop it off. Because I understand, it's kind of a shit book. But, <laughs> but it's like that. Like, I used, like, it used to be really easy to be, like, successful because of, I don't know, early internet days or, like, stuff like, you know, we were, you know, big fish in a small pond kind of thing in, like, I mean, real that's... life. People still chase trends, right? Yeah, or, but like, I, do so... I want to keep writing trends? You know, that kind of thing. So, mm. and like back then, it was like, oh, because I was like relatively smarter than some of the people I know. Not like necessarily smarter, but like better in academics. Like as a kid, and then like eventually when I went to college, it was also like, okay, well, I'm better at English than like everyone else. But to be fair, I was the only like journalism major <laughs> everyone else was in like stem or like math or something so of course their language skills wouldn't be as good as mine because i can't do calculus for shit but um you know it's kind of like that idea of like oh yeah i'm gonna like make it like big i because like i'm like better mm. you know i'm mm. like the chosen one kind of thing i'm like gifted child i'm like younger than everyone but then like i went to school and then i was like it to america and then I was like, oh, yeah, I, I still got this in the bag. I can go home to Malaysia and I'm going to be, like, great back there because, like, I'm going to be better, I'm gonna be faster, mm. smarter, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> Don't cheetah. But no, that's not how it works. Like, you can't just, like, have dreams. Because, like, every time I'm like, okay, when I go to college, I'm going to start writing more. I'm going to publish my books. And then I went to Inti. And then I'm like, okay, when I go to America, I'm going to do all these things. And I'm going to be in America and I'm going to send my manuscript to someone. But then those years pass too. And I'm like, okay. You know, it's like always like yeah. the next the next time. And it's like, yeah. actually, you can't achieve anything <laughs> without <laughs> putting in work, Aww. Claudia. You can't just like yeah. put shit up on the internet and like hope that, you know, you're like the one in like a million who gets like picked up by some, you know, shady publisher who wants to make your like book into a movie or something. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, just throwing shade at people all <laughs> No, I'm time. just saying. <laughs> uh, the entire after series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? I, I can kind of see that. I can kind of understand where you're coming from. Mm. Uh, I do not relate to any of that because <laughs> none of that ever happens or applies to me. <laughs> but I have been there and like seen you grow over the years through True. it. So like I can probably like understand yeah you know how you're feeling yeah and it's like i probably was like like people always are like oh you're way too naive to think that that would happen and i'm like no and then like i do it anyway and i was like oh <laughs> they were like right like they would be like you know like going back to malaysia would not be like that easy like you can't just change the landscape of journalism in malaysia by just writing a mag in the magazine and i was like bet <laughs> and i come back and it's like yeah bet <laughs> I bet. <laughs> oh, she was so young back then. Yeah. It's like, oh, damn. <laughs> My sweet summer child. Uh, yeah, it was like just last year. <laughs> uh, 